This is an exercise in planning the kind of short story that you might write in the exam. So let's look at how you'd plan. Our first question that we have to answer is what person will you write the story in, first or third? Okay, I'm going through first person. I've also added present tense. First person gives the story quite a sense of immediacy and it means that in the narration, the character of the narrator can come to life. Present tense makes it quite immediate as well. You could write in the past tense. The only thing is, whatever tense you choose, make sure you're consistent. All right, next question. If you're writing in the first person, is the narrator also the protagonist? The protagonist means the character that the reader should really care about, the most important character, the one the, the reader is rooting for if you like and it's a good idea to have the protagonist um, also being the narrator if you're writing the first person because it gets too messy if you have a separate narrator and protagonist you haven't got that long in a, a short story in the exam so yes is the answer then who is your protagonist make notes about the protagonist this is fairly easy to fill in Gender. I'm going for male because I know what it's like to be male. And age. I'm going for 21 because it's a good age. It's an age when you've got most of your life ahead of you, but everything seems possible. And yet, somebody of 21 has a certain amount of experience. There's quite a lot to build on already. Okay, appearance. Now, this is important. Let's see. I'm going to go for. Tall, thin, dishevelled, messy dark hair, piercing eyes, scar through one eyebrow, suggesting maybe he's had a lucky escape, wears dark colours, could be he's a bit of a gloomy type, could be a bit of a goth, and scuffed boots. That could suggest that he doesn't take great care of himself, or he just doesn't care very much about his appearance. Remember that any physical details you include should be significant. It's not just about making the character easy to visualise. You want to try to make these details do some work. OK, next question. Now, a character's background. You may not include many details about their background in your story. But nonetheless, it's useful to have some idea of their background. This will give you a more rounded sense of your character, and this will probably emerge as you tell the story. Relationships. You don't need all your characters' relationships, just one or two, but if you do have a few, then that will give you a more rounded sense of the character. D. Where is the story set? This is entirely up to you, but it's a good idea to write about somewhere that you know about or that you can at least visualise. So, I'm going for a park in Liverpool. Next. When is it set? Now, in the past, or in the future? If you set it in the past, you've got to worry about historical accuracy, but you could do that. In the future, it's going to be science fiction, essentially, so it's up to you to imagine it. If you set it in the present, right now, that's the most straightforward. And finally, F, how long does the story take? a day, a month or a year. You've only got a short time to write a short story in the exam, so writing one that's spread over a year could be difficult because you'll have to do lots of jumping from one scene to another, from one month to another. Even with a month, there could be lots of um, jumping involved. So it's quite a good idea to keep your time span fairly short as well. So I'm going for a day.